every once in a while a project comes along that's worth taking a look at. Now, in the world of utility coins, sometimes there's snobs that don't even entertain meme coins. That's fine. I'm not that kind of guy. I like meme coins. This came across my desk and I checked this out and I really like this program. Hey everybody, Will Fix here. I got a video for you. I'm going to introduce to you Crypto All Stars. We're going to look at what it is, a little bit how it works, talk about its pre-launch, and then we're going to go over audit that it went through and it, it came out, it has a perfect audit. They've already raised tons of money. We're going to look at that. I want to get your opinion of what this is. Look, use the link right up here that's popping up above my head. Tap that. It's worth checking out. This uh, It might be speculation for you. You put speculation money in it. Make your own determination. But I thought I would at least reveal some of the things about this coin so that you could at least evaluate it. Tell me what you think. Is this something that's for you? Monitor what's going on inside of you as we talk about this. See if this is not something that you believe will take off like a rocket. Let's check it out. As you know, the DeFi community is exploding. I mean, there's all kinds of money being made with cryptocurrencies, mainly utility coins. But staking isn't just for utility coins. It can be, in this case, for meme coins. Earning a passive income with meme coins. How incredible. I mean, a meme coin is already something fun anyway. We pick something fun. We pick the icon. We're basically investing in the popularity of the coin. You know, we see the coin move. There's been millionaires made with meme coins. They are no joke. They are real. And most of us hold some. Well, wouldn't it be incredible if the amount that you have, you could hold for staking? Well, that is just what this is going to be. You'll be able to stake it inside of this vault and earn rewards. What's the rewards? It'll be the All-Stars token. You'll be earning All-Stars token. But here's, here's the killer thing. The more All-Stars coins you own, the more you can earn. So you'll have a little bit of control over how much you earn. So getting these coins in the pre-launch price would be vital, wouldn't it? Because if, like other meme coins that get launched, that are professionally launched, like this one is, that are backed with significant money, like this one is, when the coin gets launched, what does it do? It goes up from there. The early buy-ins were the low. So we're at the lowest price. And you can see on the pre-launch page that, that every few days, the price is going up on the pre-launch so the earlier you buy in, the better rate you bought your All-Stars. And the more All-Stars coins that you have, the more money you will earn staking whatever you want to stake. If you're staking Pepe or Turbo. Let's look at the ones that you can stake real quick. To get to this site, tap that icon that I have right up here. Just tap it and then save it and you can come back to the video. But go ahead and tap that. It's worth you checking out. So I want you to use that and let's see. Uh, let's see if it's something for you. See if you believe in it like I do. You may not, and that's okay. And tell me about it in the comments. Tell me what you think. Tell me the negatives that you think and, and those things. But we're going to take a look at the meme coins that you can, that you can use currently. They're going to add more. Um, but on this page, when you tap that link and you save it and you come back, you can see here, here's the audits. Um, and you can check those out, and we'll brief over them. Right now, the staking percentage is 1,127%. And you see here, in one day and 17 hours, the price, this is the price right here, is 0 0.001477. That is how much it costs to buy the STARS tokens. So when you purchase, that's what you'll be purchasing. And... If you choose to stake them, you'll be staking them at this percentage. It'll be in a smart contract. And <clears throat> that smart contract, it'll just sit there and earn you money. Okay, so every couple days, this clock's been turning over. And every, I believe it's two days, every two days, 
the value of this coin goes up slightly. So you want to get in as early as you can. And you can see right so far they've raised $1,319,269. And it looks like it goes up a couple hundred thousand dollars uh, every day or so. We don't have a time period for when it's going to launch. But we do have that we're still in pre-launch. So we got to get it while we can. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take a look at what coins can be staked. All right, so here we have them listed here on the site. It's Pepe, Dogecoin, Shiba Inu, Floki Inu, Based Brett, Moog Coin, My Lady, Turbo Token, Toshi the Cat, Conk Inu, or C-O-G Inu, and I know what that's supposed to say, but Bonk Coin are the ones that they're gonna start with. So if you own any of those coins, you've just, by having some of these coins, you will shift that into a utility coin that will give you a passive income. You won't even have to do anything for it. Just sit there. Now, if you buy these coins in pre-launch and you get them at a, and you get them at a great rate and the, the rate of that coin goes up, you've made money that way. So, so right now there's more than one way to make money in this particular project. You get in early, you buy them in the pre-launch value. Uh, when it's launched, You've bought a lot of coin at a cheap price. You can then earn a great reward because you own a lot of coin. Then you can put your um, coins in there and earn that rate. And you've earned in two different ways. And as the value of your All-Stars coins goes up, if you choose to, to cash out, you can cash out some of those coins. And uh, But people are going to want those coins, aren't they? People are going to want the All-Stars coins pretty slick. That was a slick idea, right? The, the, the more you have, the more you can earn. So by getting them now, you can, you can realize the maximum that you can think about, whatever it is you want to put towards this, you can, you can realize a, a maximum instead of buying them at a higher price or then, or then being sorry, you know, if they end up being a penny a piece, being like, oh, I wish I would have bought them, you know, way back. So we don't want to do that. It is speculative. Make your own decision. Do your own research. Tell me what you think. Again, I'm going to have this link pop up again. Use that link and go to the site and review more of this. Right now, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the end result of the audit. We won't go through the whole audit. I want to get to the conclusion. So let's look at the conclusion of the audit report because that's important, isn't it? You want to make sure it's not a rug pull, right? You want to make sure the contract's been renounced. You want to make sure they can't do changes, that they can't block you out, that they, there's, there's all kinds of things that some of these coins have done in order to take you money rather than offering you a way to earn money, which is what this one's doing. So let's take a look at that audit report. This first one's done by CoinSalt. So uh, it looks like it's just a... We got, we're on the conclusion page after the audit, and basically it comes down to this little list right here. What is high risk? Zero issues. Medium risk? Zero issues. Low risk? Zero issues. Informational? Zero issues. They, the owner cannot blacklist. They cannot mint more coins. They cannot blacklist. Um, can, can be a honeypot refers to the possibility of there being a honeypot, no honeypot options. Owner can set fees, no high sell fees. They're fixed. Uh, trading enabled refers to an owner needs to take action to enable trading, or if trading is enabled already, trading is enabled. So, so you're free to move around with this coin. Let's take a look at the other audit real quick. This one's done by Solid Proof. Now, Solid Proof, it has a more extensive uh, amount of things for us to, to look at here, but why don't we get to the conclusions? So you got the introduction, the disclaimer we have about the project, uh, you know, it's on the Ethereum change. It's, uh, you know, there's all of, all of, all of these things. You can take your time and read it. Again, if you want to read this audit, tap that link that's above my head and just click on the audit. You can save it. You can print it as a PDF if you want. Let's get to the end of the conclusion. Here's their key. Very simple. You got critical 
a value of 9 to 10, high, you see the value, medium, yellow, green, low, informational, blue. Now, let's see what their conclusion on this. Okay, look at this. Here's our first. Contract is not upgradable. Developer cannot update the contract with new functionalities. So there won't be any surprises. Contract ownership is renounced. The ownership is renounced. So we're good there. Ownership privileges. Contract owner cannot mint new tokens. He cannot mint new tokens. So they get a good green there. Contract owner cannot burn tokens. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Blacklist addresses. The owner cannot blacklist wallets. It's happened in the past. Big holders, they blacklist them because they're afraid they're going to sell and dump the coin. Can't do that here. Fees and taxes. Contract owner cannot set fees more than 25%. Owner cannot set fees more than 25%. I don't think they're at 25% now, but it's at least limited, so we see that. Contract owner cannot lock function, so he can't lock out functions. Centralized privileges. Centralization can arise when one or more parties have privilege access control over the contract's functionality, data, and decision making. This can occur, for example, if the contract is controlled by a single entity or if certain participants have special permissions or abilities that others do not. In the project, there are authorities that can have access to the following functions. So, they have some recommendations to avoid potential hacking sites. So what they're doing is they're saying, keep your keys, keep it close, they're telling the company. Well, that's general information that any company, they're like, hey, you got these wallets, you got these things, you got all this going on, keep your stuff safe, okay? So that's just general information anybody would give. Critical issues, no critical issues, high issues, no high issues. Uh, medium issues, no medium issues, no low issues. They had informational, just an acknowledgement saying, hey, keep your keys safe. And that's it. It's got a perfect score um, on these two audits. There again, use this link up above my head. Look at it for yourself. Give it a good evaluation. Think about it. Think about this. How many holders of those coins that we just mentioned Pepe, Turbo, all those coins. How many holders of those coins are there? How many of them can hold the coin except stick it in a vault and make more money? Well, as soon as this is launched, all of them can. Do you think they'll want to? I do. You know, currently, or used to, you could get on uh, certain sites and you would have to not answer what country you lived in in order to stake some of your coins. You know what I'm talking about. That site was KuCoin. You could go to KuCoin and you could stake all kinds of things. Well, now you can't go to KuCoin and stake. You know, they got the KYC. It's not allowed in the United States on their platform. Well, this is something where you can stake your meme coins and it is lawful to do. It is thought about and it is uh, something you can participate in openly. And so ask yourself this question. How many people have coins that they're just sitting there holding that they could have just held the whole time and earned? So if some of you have held your coins for two, three, four years, what if they were in a vault for two or three, four years? How much bigger would it be? So there's something to gain here and something to gain by purchasing these in pre-launch. It's why I wanted to bring it to you. Well, tell me what you think. I'm going to put it up again. At the end of this video, well, you'll have a link up here, and then at the end of the video, there'll be a couple links, and you'll see it there again. I want you to check out the audit report. Tell me what you think. If you just hate meme coins, just don't tell me what you think. That's just a blanket thing that you've done for yourself, you know, and you hate meme coins. That's fine. So if you just hate meme coins, you don't have to bother to tell me that. But this particular project, you're open-minded to meme coins, tell me what you think about this project. I think it's exciting. I'm involved and I would suggest that you be too if I was able to give you financial advice. But so in our paper trading world, do yourself a favor. What'd be wrong with $100 stuck in a project like this? 
I think it's worth doing. Thought I'd bring it to you. Hope you do. Like and subscribe. I'll see you next video.